<coughs> All right, let's see what that does. Stinger level props down, I mean taps down. Should be better than everything facing down. Hmm. It's not right, but at least I'm able to get some throttle into it. It's gonna be a fast boat when it's set up. Oh. If I don't nose do I have it? Jeez. I'm running 6S and this motor can handle 8S. Alright, I gotta get some big trim tabs on this thing. But I actually forgot to put the turn fin on it too, which probably didn't help. Turns okay though. I mean, I had another option there too of sliding this battery forward. It's on a, it's on a, um, this plate here. So I could have done that. Yeah, I'll get the trim tabs on then come out when I'm a bit more serious about it. Actually came out to test this little props on this little boat, so I didn't didn't really come prepared. Battery wasn't even fully charged. Okay, so it's time to get this thing running right. Um, bigger trim tabs. Got a couple of different options here. Well, got a lot of different options actually. These are two that I've just had sitting around that aren't in stock so we'll just try and use what we what we've got it looks like well these are going to be much bigger nice and wide and certainly longer which is going to help a lot now i've also got these double ones here they're off a of traxxas spartan but yeah they're not going to work because of the float chamber so i guess if i didn't have that i probably would just put these on Okay, it's gonna be pretty straightforward to fit these. I've got um, adjustment with the with the height there, which which uh, makes things easy. Um, their holes are just a, about half a hole out, so I'll have to enlarge the hole a little bit. And they were using a, a three mil bolt on theirs, and ours has a four mil bolt, so I'm gonna have to make it bigger anyway. So it's gonna be real easy to sort this out. So I've drilled out one side to four millimeter. And so what I'll do is I'll bolt that in and then I'll drill my second hole here. Yeah. And uh, use silicon on the bolts, of course. This boat doesn't leak a drop. So I want to keep it that way. So I'll put silicon on the back of the um, tab as well and um, fill that hole as well. Okay, so there it is with the bigger tabs. <clears throat> it was actually a bit of a pain um, doing that. The, um, <clears throat> it's just all a bit tight in there. Can't really get your hands in there easily or at all, like when you're <clears throat> trying to get the washer and the bolt on there. But she's all done. So I'll take it to the lake now. See what difference the bigger tabs make, just to show people. I've actually got them set uh, about the same as what I had the smaller tabs on. So just down, maybe a millimeter, I don't know, below the bottom of the hole, just angled down, just a touch. Stinger is on dead level, if I remember right. So let's see what that does. Big difference with the uh, porpoising. Starting a bit funny though. Might be uh, the weight of that battery pushed up the front there like that. 
which is weird because the weight is on the side that wants to be on the higher side very strange okay so everything's level now um, the trim tabs so basically they you know they're mounted just just above the, the bottom of the hull I haven't angled the tip of them down to touch the water they're just dead straight parallel with the bottom of the hull so one or two millimeter above having the wider and longer trim tabs gives you a lot more options okay it's getting more like a normal boat now much better you can work with that This thing is so fast, I can't even... I doubt that's even half throttle. And I've got a motor that can run on 8S. It's only on 6S with a small prop, so I don't have any problems. Definitely too fast for this pond. So I'll give it some more tweaks when I bring when I come out again with a new battery and probably not come to such a small place. And it should be a rocket. Man, 